Hi, I'm glad you're here with me today. Hope you've got your easel set up and are ready to follow along. Today we're going to paint an intense little hellscape. You know, I get letters from people requesting all sorts of things, and hellscape wasn't one of them, but that's what I wanted to paint, so here we go. I hope you follow along. Let's start out by having them run all the names of the colors across the bottom of the screen so you know what you need to do this painting. I've already prepped the canvas. It's wet, slick, it's ready to go. So the first thing about a hellscape, it's got a gray sky. No sun coming through those clouds. So we gotta mix these two colors, get the perfect shade. A little bit of this in here, a little bit of that. Next thing you gotta do is get a brush. This one's extra large, but it's a big sky, so. Just get a little bit in there. You don't need a lot. It doesn't need to be too dark. All right, here we go. You don't wanna make it too dark because then you won't be able to see anything else you paint on top of it. So you just gotta make it dark enough. I like this type of pattern. Just a brush stroke pattern. You can go, I'm not gonna be particular about what type of pattern you want, but it takes up a lot of room for minimal effort. So that's the brush stroke I like for the sky. The next part of the hellscape is a nasty little volcano. We're gonna pet him right here, pretty predominantly in the background, so there's always a uh, feeling of impending doom here in the hellscape. No need to get this perfect yet. We just need a general volcano shape. So if you just want to pull your brush strokes down and up, down and up, distribute the paint as best as possible. And you know what? If you have a little dark blob right here, then maybe that's just where a shadow is. There's angry little shadows everywhere you look. And that's just the way that God created your volcano, and that's okay. Last thing, you just want to make sure there's a hole. You want to make the hole pretty visible so everyone who lives in the hellscape knows that sheer doom could come out of it at any time. Oh, he's a nasty little guy, huh? All right, so next we're going to paint the evil king of the hellscape. We're going to get a little bit, of, little bit of this color with a little bit of this color, a little bit of this pukey color. All right, so usually when you see an evil king, in his mythological kingdom. He's usually pretty ripped, he's usually pretty muscular looking, but you know what, we're gonna be original here, we're gonna make ours pretty dumpy. Here's his head. He's pretty large presence. He likes to be the center of attention, so we're gonna make him pretty big. He likes to rival the volcano. It's really important to get this orange color in here the brightest thing in the hellscape. And he can be whatever you want him to be as long as it's just not very flattering. As long as he just, you know, kind of looks like a, a bit of a goof. I started to make him skinny there. We gotta widen him out, so. As long as you just have a general shape of an egg-like figure, then I think you've got a pretty good evil master, so. Just gonna fill them in a little bit. I like to call this stroke crazy eights because I almost make an eight figure with it. Almost, that's a trick. I'm just gonna get his round head, fill it in. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Next, we're gonna draw all the people that live here. There's a few different types. Some of the people that live here have accepted living here. They don't mind it anymore. They've accepted their fate and they've decided that the hellscape isn't that bad. That's just one of the types. Let's get them all in there. Now down here's where all the people are. Like I said, there's one type here. One, two, 10, 11, 12, 328 million. Let's get a couple more in there. Now, like I told you, there's three types of people that live in the hellscape. There's a first type, they're over here. They don't mind it. They've accepted their fate. I think the hellscape's not that bad. It's probably the best that it could be. They don't dream of anything being better. That's okay. 
They don't mind living next to this orange blob and this uh, really frightening volcano that could just blast them all with lava at any second. We're just gonna put little smiley faces on the people who like the hellscape. You wonder like, do they like the hellscape? Or are they just not used to anything else? It's the question about happiness, huh? That's why sometimes I just try to stick to painting. Let other people who are smarter than me figure that stuff out. So next is the angry people. They're right here in the middle. We're gonna put a little frown on their face. They hate the hellscape. And they think that the hellscape has potential to be better. They think the hellscape could be filled with happy trees and happy clouds and not, you know, gray skies and a volcano. They're so angry. They're yelling at everyone, trying to inspire them that this place could be better. But at the end of the day, they're just stressing themselves out. And those stress hormones will wreak havoc on their immune systems. And they're going to die before the happy people do. Because that's what happens in the Hell's Gate. Then over here, last group of people, that's the oppressed people. We're just going to put a little line for their mouth. Because they also hate the hellscape, but they're a bit more used to it because they've been oppressed. So they look at the angry people yelling, and they're just like, okay, yeah, join the party. I mean, it sucks, but I guess we're glad you came. Just uh, don't complain the whole time and actually help us do something about it. So then the angry people, they're like, okay, well, we'll try. But it might be hard because complaining's kind of our thing. That's okay. They're being honest. That's the first step to fixing the hellscape. And the oppressed people are like, well, buckle up. It's going to be a wild ride. And they couldn't be more right because this is about the time that our friend Nasty Volcano is about to smoke up around here. Just really put everyone on edge. All right, let's smoke it up. Get it coming from the, from the hole. Maybe it starts out strong. Sometimes I like... Nice smoke to have a little flick in the wrist. The thing with the smoke is you really want to get the violence of the smoke. So we want this smoke to be real thick. We want it to create a real claustrophobic feeling for everyone in the hellscape. Like it's sort of like I've been stuck in my house too long, but if I go outside, that means certain death. So what do you do? How do you know? That's the kind of conundrum I want this smoke to create. You know, come to think of it, let's put a smile on our leader over here because he's the kind of guy that enjoys watching you be in this kind of existential conundrum, okay? Let's make it an open mouth smile. Because he's laughing. Next, we're gonna paint a little friend, Ghost in the Boat. He's a staple of hellscapes for some mythological reason that I don't know, but he's always there. We're gonna put him in the back though. He's just gonna watch everything go down from his boat. All right, so we're just gonna put him right here. There he is, his little head and his little body. And there's his boat. Yeah, he's just gonna be watching all this go down from his boat. So yeah, maybe he's on a break, you know? He's uh, packed a sandwich today, here's his little arm. This is a perfect time for him to just take a break, eat his sandwich, watch all this craziness go down. So we're just gonna make him a little mud river to be in. I'm not partial about the mud river. You can make it whatever direction or size you want. This is just what I'm doing, so feel free to follow along. Feel free to forge your own path. Fill it in if you want. If you can't be bothered, don't. That's okay. I respect all types of art, even if it's not something I would do. All right, friends, well, now our volcano is really going crazy. It's just spewing lava everywhere, hitting people out of nowhere. So you gotta get some red here, just get it going. Some people are like, what? I don't see the volcano. There's no volcano. I don't see anything, everything's fine. I'm so happy. At the same time, other people are getting lava just spewed in their faces, so that's crazy. Well, before we finish up, we're just going to add a little star right here in the upper corner. All right, so we're going to get some white, star bright white, teensy bit of blue. Mix it up here. Oh, more white. It's perfect for a little star in a hellscape. 
All right, we'll put a little star up here. You know, sometimes all sorts of people look at the star. It gives them hope. And sometimes they send their wishes to it. I guess that keeps them going. Is the star real or is it made up? I guess we'll never really know. But if it helps people, it doesn't really matter. Thanks for being here today. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did. Greatly appreciate it. Now lastly, never forget, you gotta sign your painting. So here we go. See you next time.